If, like me, you have a Proton X50, you will soon wake up to a car that has been improved. You wouldn't have to do anything to it. You wouldn't have to send it to a service center or anywhere. You would just get in the car and it's better. I'm talking about the all-new Atlas Infotainment Operating System in the car by Eco Tech. And this new OS has been developed for us Malaysians by Malaysians. This is a definite step forward for the X50. And as an over-the-air or OTA update, you will receive free of charge. It's an exciting one. To me, it's another step forward towards an intelligent and connected experience with our cars. And that can only be a good thing. It brings about a whole new interface, updated features, and most important of all, improved user experience. Now, let's take a closer look at the new Atlas OS on the new Proton X50. Hi, Proton. Good afternoon, Atlas. Atlas stands for Ecotech Local Automotive Services and it's designed as the next generation connected infotainment system for cars. For the Proton X50, it replaces the previous GKUI 19 OS we've had before. Just on the face of it, the screen now looks so much more exciting, more interactive than before. There's more colors, so it's more pleasing to look at more playful as well and I think that it has a significant effect on your whole experience of interacting with this car. As a whole, it looks a lot more like a modern smartphone or a tablet to operate than before. With large interactive tiles on the home screen, you can then swipe left to access the app icons or pull down from the top of the screen for quick settings and shortcuts. It has a very modern yet familiar feel from the get-go. Now, back to the home screen, which by the way is now accessible through the new button on the bottom right, within perfect reach for the driver. This is a far better placement for the shortcut than it was before, now properly optimized for right-hand drive use. There's a button to go straight to the app menu here as well. Before this, it wasn't bad, but in many ways, you do get the impression that the screen layout and interface were adapted from a foreign left-hand drive market. This feels far more localized. Local input and optimization is always a good thing in my books. And speaking of localization, the famous voice command function for the X50 has been improved as well. You now have a choice between having a male and female voice to talk to, and like at the start of the video, you can now customize what he or she calls you. You can go by your actual name or, you know, go by boss, big man, leng chai, whatever you want. It's a neat touch. But beyond that, the system now utilizes AI-powered speech recognition, so it's now even better at catching our unique Malaysian accents and tones and speech patterns. So you can just talk to it like your normal self. You don't need to talk like a robot for it to understand you anymore. It even understands more natural speak. So you can just say things like, I'm feeling cold, I'm hungry, I want to buy this, I want to buy that and the system will react accordingly. One really cool feature is that the system can now tell if the command is coming from the driver or the passenger. So if my passenger asks it to open his or her window, only the left window will open. If I say it, only my window will open. The home screen has also been given a revamp and it's all for the better. As you can see, it now has a multi-display interface with the navigation on the left and your music controls and other apps on the right side. This will be the screen that you'll be looking at when you drive along, so you now have quick access to all the vital information and controls within the home screen. And the screen is customizable as well. You can place the functions or apps that you use the most on the right side here for easier access. Just press and hold and there you go. Edit home widget. This is super useful. 
Next, let's talk about the multiple themes to choose from. You can now pick from a few different themes for the whole interface and the selection will grow through time. You can even set different wallpaper, screensaver, and so on. It's just like your phone or tablet, really. And speaking of phones, the very thing that makes Atlas OS on this Proton X50 unique is that you don't really need a phone to have a connected experience with this car. You don't need to have your phone plugged up or even on a dock or a phone holder taking up space and blocking the main screen. With Atlas, the screen here is your onboard multimedia entertainment device. It's connected to the internet, so you have access to a music player, plus the shop app is already pre-installed so you have access to local radio stations and podcasts. There's actually a lot of interesting content here. Check it out for yourself, you will be surprised. Now, if your favorite music streaming app is not yet available here, well, they may be introduced in the future. That's the beauty of a connected OS with OTA updates. Atlas capabilities are not limited to what you can see right now only. It will be continuously improved through your ownership experience with more apps and features added along the way. The one thing that has a lot of potential is Atlas Pay. With this, you can soon start paying for fuel and other things right from the screen itself. This is the very first in-car payment system in Malaysia and the possibilities for this is super exciting. This will take your connected car experience to the next level. Okay, one feature that for now at least, not a lot of X50 users use all that much is the navigation system. A lot of us still prefer to use our own preferred apps for this of course, but tell you what, there are actually quite a few good reasons to start using the onboard navigation system more. You already know this system is connected to the internet, so it really does work and operate like a proper navigation app, complete with traffic information data, live ETA times, and so on. The app itself has also been improved to now use a combination of online and offline map for a seamless, uninterrupted navigation. We've all driven through Kampung roads without data before, right? This can still work there. The navigation UI is also new and it's now clearer than before with turn-by-turn -turn directions with a 3D lane guidance. The directions are even displayed on your main instrument cluster as well, which is a nice touch. Folks, do give this a try. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. A new feature with Atlas is the integration with the Atlas Auto app on your smartphone. This app has a similar function set as the old Proton Link app, but with a few additional extras. For navigation, I can now search for the address on my phone and send it to the car wirelessly. So for instance, I can do that from the office, and by the time I get into the car, I can just drive off with the navigation system already set up. I don't even have to take my phone out of my pocket. It is pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do through the app is to sync your calendar to the car. So you'll be given on-screen reminders of your next meetings and appointments. You can even get it to remind you of birthdays or anniversaries. And if somehow you still forget to buy a gift, you can do this. Hi Proton, I need to buy flowers. Which do you want? How cool is that? So, the new Atlas OS for the Proton X50 may not be a groundbreaking update by any means, but it's a good step in the right direction, I think. It really opens up vast possibilities for the future, and even now, it's just a better system. To me, it's always the small things that make a real difference to the entire experience, and with this, all the minor improvements really make a significant impact as a whole. Plus, it's free, and like I said at the start, it will be offered to you as an over-the-air or OTA update very soon. As easy as that. Having a car that gets better and better through the years is quite special, I think. And to have it on a Proton, yeah, pretty damn cool. 
So that's about it for the new Atlas OS for the Proton X50 by Ecotech. I'll remind you again that it's specifically developed for us Malaysians by Malaysians. And to me, that stands for a lot. What do you think of all this? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and stay safe everyone.